Idaho Vandals get a big run right here. First and 10, deep on their own territory. Here's Raymond Fry. Has a hole. Is gone at the 40, 30, 20, 10. The Kibbe Dome crowd going crazy, and Raymond Fry has scored. Beautiful run up the middle. And let's take a look at that again. The Pontiac game-changing performance. Raymond Fry just had a little stutter step as he got them on his scrimmage, and then he was gone looking over his shoulder at the defense. Brian Flowers, a single setback. Pitch out to Flowers. He has some running room out to the outside. 30 at the 40. Midfield, one man to beat. He will beat him all the way into the end zone. 10 5 touchdown. Brian Flowers, number 457180 Junior from El Camino Junior College in California, enjoying the end zone. Let's take a look at that again. Great blocking. They sold that play to the right side, and Flowers took it all the way down the left sideline, and this Martin Stadium crowd is silent. Spartan Stadium, East Lansing, Michigan. The Vandals deep in their own territory. No score. Four eleven left to go in the first quarter. The ball at the Vandal nine-yard line. Single setback is Andre Harris. The handoff to Harris. Little fake inside. Takes it out. Goes back inside. And turns on the afterburners at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. And you can hear a pin drop in East Lansing, Michigan. Andre Harris just getting warmed up. What a play. Great blocking up front. His speed unmatched here in Spartan Stadium. The Vandals take the lead 6 to nothing on a beautiful 91-yard run by Mr. Andre Harris. Thank you, Los Angeles.
Here in the Tibby Dome, the Idaho Vandals and Louisiana Tech, 22-6 Idaho, first and 10. Ball at the Vandal 47-yard line. Hand off to Terrence McCoy. Takes it to the outside. One man to beat at the 10. Five, he'll beat him for the score. Terrence McCoy, 5'8", 170, speedster from Oakland, California. The crowd's going crazy in the Dome because McCoy has got the wheels. He read that block beautifully, was going to go inside, juke to the outside, and was gone. Vandals and the Spartans here at Spartan Stadium leading 14 to nothing. Back to pass. Throws a long bomb. Wide open. That's Franks at the five. Touchdown, Vandals. Beautiful throw by 6'4", 215 quarterback. I'll tell you what, this guy has got a cannon. Plenty of time. And threw it right there. Touchdown for the Vandals. They're going to go a long way this year. Jonathan Tobin sets him out. Here come the Vandals. Tobin back to pass at his own 25. Let's it fly. Long, beautiful spiral. It is caught at the five touchdown Vandals. Jonathan Tobin, 6'4", 215 from Glendale, Arizona, on a beautiful 62-yard bomb. The Vandals lead Michigan State 20 to nothing. Had all kinds of time. Stepped up in that big right arm. Let that ball go. And there it was. For another touchdown for the Vandals, completely dominating this Big Ten powerhouse. Idaho looking to break the tie with Boise State. Back to pass, Wichman throws at the 20-yard line. Complete into the end zone, the Vandals score. Great pass to Stanley Franks to the right side of the end zone.
They'll see if they can score. Here's the hike. Big hole opens up, and they score. Touchdown, Vandals, and the hole opened up by that left tackle, number 78, Tristan Turner. San Jose State football, Vandals lead 7-0 here in the second. First and 10, Spartans ball on their own four-yard line. Big play here would be nice. As quarterback goes back into his own end zone, he throws over the middle and it's complete and hit by Anderson. He forces the fumble and it's picked up by the Vandals. Oh, my, Adam Anderson. The atomic bomb on defense, I'm telling you what. Strong safety, 5'10", 200 from Elk, Washington. And his hit forces that fumble. He's one of the hardest hitters on the defense. Vandals get a big play right here. Third down and 12. New Mexico State's ball at their own 17-yard line. Shotgun formation as the Vandals get set defensively. Back to pass. Jenkins throws over the middle. It is intercepted. That's right. Intercepted. Strong safety. Shiloh Keogh. He'll take it to the house for six more. Shiloh Keogh. Man. What a great, great move defensively. Over the middle pass, he stayed home, and the strong safety from Seattle took it into the end zone for the touchdown for the Vandals. Back to passes, Norwood throws to the left lot. It is picked off. That's General Parnell, the cornerback on that side for the Vandals. He takes it in for the score just like that. And it is quiet here at Fresno State. The pass into the left flat, and there was Mr. Parnell out of San Bernardino, California.
Third and ten. Spartans at their own 20-yard line. Single set back. Vandals lead 7-0. Fake. Looks. Throws over the middle. There's an interception. Steve Cameron. That's right. Cameron gets it down to the San Jose State 20-yard line. A defensive leader all year long at Gardena, California. I'll tell you what, this linebacker shows speed. He's got good hands, and he takes it down for the interception. Big play now for the Vandal defense, leading 13-0, second and 10, ball at the Hawaii 36-yard line, quarterback back to pass, throws left side, step it up right there, the linebacker, that's Paul Seneskal, and Seneskal coming down with a big, big play. Out of Spokane, Washington, six foot two ten. he hung onto that football, was perfectly positioned on defense. As a long count, quarterback back to pass, and he is hit by Dominguez. That's right, that offensive lineman comes off the left side. You can warm it up, Grandma. Let's send the Bulldogs back to Ruston. Back to pass, no time. And number 37, John Dominguez, coming in off that left side to make the stop. Handles love a big play right here. A handoff. No, a quarterback sack. My gosh, the quarterback Norwood got sacked by George Faave, one of the top linemen on the Vandal defense at a L.A. Harbor Junior College. Wow. Cougars trailing Idaho 14 to nothing here at Martin Stadium. First and 10 at their own 18 yard line. Swagger under center, single setback. Vandals getting ready defensively, trying to stop on this first down. 
And they go back in the sack. That's right, Swagger is sacked behind the line of scrimmage. That's Aaron Lavarius. Oh, my gosh, Lavarius comes up and makes a sack untouched. Huge play for the Vandals. Fresno State football, and here's the handoff, and it's a big, big hit by Jonas Sadaraka. Mexico State, first and 10, ball at their own 16-yard line. Quarterback changing at the line of scrimmage. He will fake and go back to pass in. His hit behind the line of scrimmage, sacked at the 10-yard line by big Brian Wilson, 6'3", 295. And I tell you what, the New Mexico State Aggie quarterback met Mr. Wilson in a big, big way. Wow, what a play for the Vandals. Well, let's come down to this. Harmon lines up for a 53-yard field goal to try to win it for the Vandals against San Jose. Here's the hike, the spot. Harmon boots this one. It's up, up, up. It is good. Idaho, New Mexico State here as the score, nothing, nothing, first quarter. Here is the handoff, and taking out to the outside, that's Princeton McCarty. McCarty, what a great juke move. He's going to take it all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Vandals. And the Las Cruces crowd is quiet. McCarty enjoying the end zone. He's been there a lot this year, and he puts the Vandals on top. Here it is, handoff. Take it out to the outside, and the speed of McCarty basically got him down into the end zone plus a fine juke move at about the 50-yard line. The Pontiac game-changing performance. 